the members of the Science and Security Board moved the hands of the doomsday clock forward, largely, though not exclusively, because of the mounting dangers in the war in Ukraine. We moved the clock forward the closest it has ever been to midnight. It is now 90 seconds to midnight. So the doomsday clock was just moved forward to 90 seconds to midnight. What does this mean? Well, first off, what is the doomsday clock? The doomsday clock was first created in 1947 as a metaphorical countdown to the end of the world as we know it. Specifically, it refers to the impending global disaster that is solely caused by human hands, and it is adjusted every January upon review by scientists from the bulletin. Upon its unveiling in 1947, the doomsday clock was seven minutes to midnight. That was in 1947, which is interesting, right before Israel became a nation in 1948. So the clock was seven minutes to midnight in 1947. Since that time, it has moved back and forth for a total of 24 different times. I wanted to talk about this today, folks, because I saw a lot of different sources reporting on it. This is one I just got from the Jerusalem Post. 90 seconds to midnight, world closer to doomsday than ever. Doomsday clock. Let me read some of this to you. The doomsday clock is now 90 seconds to midnight, the closest it has ever been to a global catastrophe. Earth is closer to a catastrophic global demise than ever before. With the famous doomsday clock of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists being at 90 seconds to midnight, thanks in large part to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This is the closest the clock has ever been to reaching the dreaded midnight. Folks, do you realize how close we are to the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ? Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. The whole point I want to make with this video is man is not in control of the timeline. So they're saying that it's 90 seconds to midnight, and we're the closest to global catastrophe that we've ever been. But I want to make something very clear. God is in control of the timeline. But the whole point I want to make is even the peculiar world is saying that the world is on the cusp just 90 seconds away from a global catastrophe depicted on the doomsday clock. Well, let's see what time it is on God's prophetic timeline and his timetable. Well, we're in the very last seconds on God's prophetic time clock. God is about to put, turn his full attention back to the nation of Israel for the commencement of the time of Jacob's trouble, also known as Daniel's 70th week, the seven-year tribulation period, that will be the most horrific time, horrific time in human history. When I look at all the things happening in the world right now, and most importantly in Israel, which is God's prophetic timepiece, and I look at what my Bible says by connecting the prophetic dots, it's clear as day that we are on the brink of eternity. We are in the very final seconds of this dispensation known as the Age of Grace, and on the cusp of the rapture of the church. This already fractured world is one breath away from the tribulation, which means we are a half breath away from the rapture. All I can tell you is this. If you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. 
You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.